Okay, I'm gonna go over how to unlock your prismatic recaster, artifact, all that good stuff. This is just basically just going through the introduction quest. As soon as you uh, start the game, you will be put into a battlefield mission, the behemoth. Just finish this. It's very it handholds you pretty much. Nothing you can get lost with. Just you know, get to the end, kill the boss, get to the chest, and you'll get your first step, which will be going to the helm, which is a new area in the tower, or a transmat area in the tower, and you just click on that and you'll get into the area. So here's the new area. It's located on the map in the tower. Pretty hard to miss. It has a new season symbol. And here you want to interact with the war table and then Savala will give you a message basically talking about uh, why you're here and what's the plan to defeat the new Cabal enemies or Cabal threat, I guess you could say. So as soon as you interact with the war table, you will unlock the artifact as soon as you pick this up. So once you finish the first battlefield uh, mission, you get a artifact. So very important artifacts are very important to get in the beginning of the season, even though I think even if you don't pick it up right away, I think the XP, XP still carries over even if you don't pick it up, but it's good for the mods, obviously. So here is the quest it has 12 steps. Challenger is proving you have, to, you have to finish this for one of the weekly challenges in your triumphs. So I'll talk about that later. But as soon as you claim this, you get bounties. Bounties, these are just daily bounties. They don't give you XP. XP is good, um, but these are daily bounties. And then you have the repeatable bounties on the right side. On the bottom, we have two mods you can pick up. I'm not sure if they rotate daily or weekly, but you can pick them up for three mod components each. Um, they're quite interesting, but I'm not sure how useful they are, but whatever. I don't, testing is not my thing. And then you have a emblem and a ship, but those can be only unlocked when you rank up your reputation with the war table. To rank up with your reputation for the war table, you have to do weekly challenges, which are located in your tri Night of Triumphs, in your bounty area. I'll probably, like I said, I'll show that again later in the video. All that means is that it is time gated. There is no way to speed this up. The weekly challenges are account account based, so you can't you can't just do them three times on a different character. It's all uh, all on one account, and there's no way to speed it up. You have to wait per week, so there's 10 weeks in total, and we have to do those challenges when they come up per week to get the reputation up. But there is no, I don't see there's a, I say there's no benefit of rank. I mean, there is a benefit. Never mind. There is a benefit. Never mind. Yes, yes, yes. Never mind. Never mind. Yes. We'll talk about it later. All right. All right. So that, that's pretty much it for the war table here. So listen to the crow, listen to Osiris, they talk to each other, just listen to them, blah, blah, blah. The next step we have decrypting the darkness. This is where you have to go ahead and decrypt a Umbro Engram in the, the uh, prismatic recaster. This is not the full prismatic recaster. This is like a special one-time use kind of thing. But you could mess up, I think. So don't mess up with this part. You do get an Umbro Engram, hopefully, from doing the battlegrounds. So here's how it goes. So you want to head over to the decoder here, and you'll get a message from uh, Tarn Kane. Uh, Tyra car not just completely messed that name up all right don't question me I don't remember anything in this we get a fragile decoder here pretty much a fragile prismatic lens this is used one time use it breaks on use you do not want to decrypt the engram here this is not how you not what you're supposed to do now you want to head and exit the screen and head over to the prismatic recaster in the middle there Probably best to wait, put a waypoint on it. You want to open it up, and you'll get just the Umbro Affinity. This is the just a one-time use. You you want to use a fragile prismatic lens. You can you can look what they give you, uh, and then you just want to acquire it by holding down your interact button. There you go. You get a fragile prismatic lens. And you want to go back to the uh, the the Umbro decoder, and you will now decode and get a free emblem as well. And that should get you the next step here. So now I want you to go back to the war table. Now Lord Saladman will go ahead and talk to you about the threat on Europa. And it's the next step. You to go ahead and do the Europa Battlegrounds uh, step for the this one here. So when you're doing Proving Grounds, uh, my best thing I would probably try to explain is it's, right now you want to use a rocket launcher as you're heavy because there is a weekly challenge or seasonal challenge that you have to get 75 kills on Cabal just to be efficient. Pull a rocket launcher when you're doing battlegrounds for now until you finish that because you want to you finish that. It's very important uh, for sure. 
<laughs> um, one thing you want to go ahead is also remember is that if you do have Beyond Light, you want to go ahead and go to Anna Bray. She has uh, a aspect quest for your stasis class if you've caught up already. But yeah, that's nothing too important right now. It's too hard to do if you're by yourself. If you have the season pass, I recommend also right away, as soon as you're done with the helm, you want to go ahead to Banshee and quickly or go pick up his quests. He has two quests, one for the uh, new exotic bow, which gives you an exotic, the, the catalyst a quest. And then the second one gives you the ritual weapon for uh, just the grenade launcher for the season. Um, of course, once you get, if you don't have the season pass, you still can get this quest, but you have to get the level 35 or 45, whatever on the season pass. When you, get, when you get the bow, you can get the catalyst quest as well. But uh, right now, you cannot, if you get the season pass, you can get the quest right away. Uh, so I would recommend getting that first so that you can make progress just by playing the game when you're just doing all the quests as well. So the next step is to go ahead and do the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, battlegrounds on Europa. So just go ahead and uh, click on the one on the bottom right here. And you should be uh, good to go. It's match made. It should be easy. It's, it's the easy one. Uh, in the future, you have to, you'd be matchmaking in the Vanguard tab, basically, pretty much. So once you're finished that Hillstone Battlegrounds, you want to head back to the War Table, interact with it, and this will finish your Proving Ground. Not really. Does it finish? I don't think it finishes. Maybe it does. I don't know, but you get the hammer. Hammer approved. This is like the, this is basically, if you ever played Season of Opulence, this is basically the chalice. You have to, this is where you have to up, upgrade and get better rewards. This is where you can, this is where you can choose certain um, focusing for the uh, Prismatic Recaster. It's, there's two things you could up, well, there's two things you're upgrading. You're upgrading the Recaster and the hammer here. That's a bit confusing here, but we're, we're, I'm going to go over um, everything here. The next step you have to do is uh, get 14 Cabal Gold. And the 14 Cabal Gold, you can earn that from doing any, almost any activity except for like Wrathborn Hunts and I don't know, other crap that's useless. But mainly anything can give you Cabal Gold. Um, right now, this week is week one. Uh, we have Mayhem. Mayhem is really fast game mode. Other than that, how do I pull like a Like seven or eight Cabal Gold and a Mayhem win or Mayhem match gives you eight cabal gold so just two mayhem matches we'll get you the cabal, the cabal golds and you need 14 to give a put a rune into the hammer here so as soon as we get our gold or we have 14 we can we can combine it and get our uh, medallion here onto our hammer um, and this allows us to now pillage tribute to Kalti Kal Kal I, I still forget how to pronounce her name Kal uh, I don't know, uh, whatever, da Kalis' daughter. And now you want to go to the Vanguard tab, and then you can match make here, and it'll, it'll rotate between either the Europa one or the Edis Onesis one. And of course, once more weeks come by, you will have more uh, in the future. Probably one on EDZ and one on uh, Nessus. Uh, Nessus, or the Oracle. It's the Lighthouse area. Um, but this one, you, it has uh, a Subbable Champions and Barrier Champions, so you don't worry about those as well. Once you finish this, this is pretty much you're almost done here um, for the uh, quests. So now at the end of a uh, trial or battleground, you can pick the main chest and then you have a tribute chest where you break. And this is, uses a, one of your charges that you spend. So the 14 Cabal Gold that you use, you're spending it to break up one chest. And that gives you uh, progress and triumphs and, well, loot that you look for and... Um, a chance to get a lens. I'll explain that also later in the video. A lot of things to explain, but it's it's kind of confusing. But we get some, we get a lens and that stuff. <laughs> I don't even know. So now we head back to the war table and we will pick up a Umbro Engram and our uh, 24, 20, 24 gold, I think. Or is that later? That's a little bit later. We got an Umbro Engram. Um, we need to use that and we need to use it to focus in our prismatic recaster. Um, since we have a hammer charge, we can now make a new uh, em or new engram for the season. We can either choose a uh, armor from this season or a, a weapon from this season. There's some confusing stuff at the bottom here, but we'll go over that later. I understand what it's pretty simple to understand, but interesting as well. 
for sure. But we chose a weapon uh, just because why not? So you, once you get it, you go back to the decoder, decrypt it, and you get whatever weapon you get. I got a bow, which is pretty cool. And then we we'll head back to the uh, table and talk to Salad Man. And that will give us our final step or finishing the uh, introduction quest, which is the proving hammer. I forget what challenge. I forget already what the quest is called. Uh, what is it called? Challenger is proving. Exactly. There we go. You get 28 gold, which is useful to at least get two chargers and a hammer. And that's pretty much it. You pretty much now have, have unlocked and have full access to your prismatic recaster and the hammer, uh, proving hammer as well. So let me go in game and talk about more things here and what things we sh you guys should probably know about. Or well, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we're in game. We have this one button here. Maybe more will come out, but here we have the prismatic recaster. This is what right now what it looks like on the first day. Of course, we have ways to go to unlock this kind of stuff. But as you can see here, um, we have a couple options here. Now, what everything means, I'm gonna try ahead and try to explain it best I can. So here we have worldly weapons. This is weapons that you can drop from activities destinations. You can just use a Umbro Engram and legendary shards to just change it to that. No cost there. Same thing with this, which is world drops armor. Then we have season of chosen weapons, season of chosen arms. Oh wait, not weapons. This is everything, armor and weapons. This is specifying weapons only, specifying armor only from season of chosen, of the chosen. Now. Instead of this one's okay, but uh, you you know if you want armor weapons that's fine, but these you need hammer charges right, so it's gonna cost you uh, runs doing runs of battlegrounds. Now we have those are just tier one focusing. There's tier two focusing, which you can get um, by getting kills with a certain season pass weapons. So with the machine with the submachine gun pistol or sidearm. The uh, exotic bow or bow and uh, the separate rifle, and then we have a f linear fusion rifle and rocket launcher. If getting kills with these will give you the uh, lens uh, for the tier two focusing. So instead of getting just a chance to either get every weapon in the loophole, you can just have it where it could just be the rocket launcher or the linear fusion rifle or the bow or cyber rifle. Of course, when it says you need the uh, battle pass weapon you have to get to that point in the battle pass which is pretty far in the season if you don't do a lot of bounties but if you want to unlock the illusion rank 30 is the fusion rifle and the uh, sidearm here is 45 so you have to go ahead and get those first to get those uh, to e be, be, be even uh, be even what to, to even use these <laughs> lenses here so once you unlock this it's going to cost you Instead of one hammer charge, it's three hammer charges. You have to hold three hammer charges in order to focus these this engrams over here. All the same, right? Now these are the armor ones. These it tells you that you can acquire them from tribute chests. There's a chance when you open a tribute chest at the end of battlegrounds, you you'll be able to get one of these engrams, right? Eventually, oh, not engrams, uh, lenses as they're called. Um, of course, I got one already, which is the chosen gauntlets. You can see that we are able to craft a gauntlet if we decide to hold three hammer charges. Now, next up with the tier three focusing, similar to these ones up here. They're basically the same idea. It's just, just you get two choices of a weapon, either submachine or sidearm. But the difference between each is is that it does take more kills per weapon. But uh, you will get an extra perk choice in the final column, similar to in the past. Uh, if we do, for an example, this is an example of what it means by an extra perk uh, in a weapon. So, for example, let me find a weapon like this, this steel feather. So, instead of having just perks like this, for example, like this, just one perk here, there will be two perks in the final slot, and you can choose whatever you want. So, it gives you more choices to get good rolls if you get decide to go farm for that weapon. So, that's benefit of getting the tier 3 focusing, but it's going to cost you hammer charges. It's going to cost you at least five hammer charges. I'm not sure if it's more for these, but for this one, we have chosen strength, which is uh, five charges here. Now, to unlock these, it tells you right here, obviously, super kills, grenade kills, uh, just kills in general, hammer charges used, which is going to be a lot, 
and uh, what is this? Cabal gold, just cutting gold. This one is easy. It was melee kills, um, which should be the easiest one if you're using Hunter with uh, Stasis. But I mean, I'm sure Titan is easy too, and Warlock as well. Um, pretty much you unlock that, and it costs just five hammer charges. Now, like I've said, for hammer charges and all that stuff, that is pretty much the Prismatic Recaster. I'm not sure there's more to that. They did say that you can get past these weapons. I'm not sure that, where that is, but maybe in the future we'll get more. But the war table here lets you uh, give you get you hammer upgrades, right? Now, how this works, before you question everything, how this works, you it is you cannot choose before usually you can choose whatever is in the first row. You can, but you cannot at the same time. Um, for one, it is gated, as in when you hover over this one, if you were if you were to hover over this, it would say you would need this. So basically how this works. The upgrade you can only get when you get the first reputation or well, way to rank it up is you can only unlock this one, Tribute Chest 1. Then the next upgrade you can get is either this one or this one or this one. That is the only way you're able to get uh, what, what you're able to get next, right? So if I would, if I was to get a next rank up, I could choose this one or this one. Now, if I choose this one, then I can upgrade this one next if I get a rank up, but I won't be able to get this one. So I would need Hammer Charge 1. So it goes up, it goes either left or you go right or down, left, right, down, left, right, whatever direction you want to go to. Now to get upgrades, you have to do the weekly challenges. Like I said earlier in the video, this is the seasonal challenges. There's only three right now. Every week there'll be a new challenge. I think it's 10, like I've said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, around there. Uh, if it does go down pages, but with this, you'll get a medium war table rep, which is basically just one level. Um, and these are pretty simple to do. Like I've said, you want to use a rocket launcher and getting couple kills and the challenge you're proving completed is just an introduction quest, which we talk about Cabal gold, just play objectives, play, I mean, activities. And then this is a uh, smash tribute chest, which is just getting to the chest at the end and then focusing an engram, a season of the chosen engram. Do not you do not. You, you want to use the hammer charges because you won't get progress if you don't focus the right engrams. You want to focus you want to focus engrams that are using the hammer chargers. Do not focus right now. If you want to make progress on that quest, um, you want to make sure you use it on the the season of chosen one. So these ones over here, either these two here or whatever else down here. But don't do these yet until you get that quest done. Of course, these quests are account wide, so you want to make sure you know you could do that. You could just do it on a different character, but no rush there. So as soon as you get those uh, objectives done, you have to wait next week to get new challenges and then you can upgrade your war table again. Like I've said, this is time gated and there's not much you can do about it. There's no way to increase it other than just waiting per week. Unless there's another way to do it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I figured it out. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, another cool thing is that you can now uh, inspect these quests or these triumphs. Or not quests. These, yeah, these quests. And you can look how many steps there is and look back at what you were looking for um, and all that good stuff. Now, here's the hammer. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll talk about the hammer a little bit. Hammer, you can see that how much gold you can, you can only hold a max amount of gold. And then every time you get, every time you do a battleground, you get a charge and it'll be like one, it'll be a, a, a yellow box where you got one charge, right? And you can only hold three. But of course, when you go to the table, you can actually upgrade your charges. So for example, if you want, you can hold three, five, seven, ten. So in total, if you get to the end, you hold ten charges instead. Then you can actually have your your amount of gold stored as well up to eighty four in total. If you keep upgrading the couple of gold, what do I recommend upgrading first? That is a question I don't even know how to answer. I would assume the best ones on the are on, are, are on the end of the, the uh, scale here. But always efficiency is what you want to get first, right? But there's no efficiency because it's all about completing the battlegrounds. Battlegrounds is what you get the main progression, pretty much. Um, so up to you of what you want to get. But right now, if I was to get another upgrade, I think I would like to get probably either increasing my sizes, getting more charges probably would be probably good because I'm lazy. Getting more charges allows me to get the tier three focusing. Uh, gear, which is nice, um, but other than that, there's some pretty cool stuff you could get for sure. I've not read most of this stuff, but you could probably go read it yourself in game and look at the hammer. 
and see what you need and what you don't need, right? But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You get mods here, like I've said, and you just gotta keep playing the game and all that good stuff. Of course, like this is only the first day of the game coming of the season coming out. Um, so take it, take the information I have. Who knows? What's if it's gonna change? It might change in the future, but uh, it's pretty much the basics right now, and there's much more to learn and all that good stuff. So, hopefully, this hopes and enjoy that, I guess.